Welcome to the Allplan Quick Start Lesson, Views and Sections, where I will show you how Allplan can be used to quickly and intuitively create architectural views and sections. What should you expect from this lesson? Together, we will derive a few views and sections from the 3D model using the right side of the building structure. Alternatively, you can learn how to create views and sections directly in the drawing file. First, in the animation window, we need to view the model that we want to generate views and sections from. To do this, load the drawing file favorite Lesson 8-1 Start in the building structure. In addition, we load drawing file 128 and close to confirm. In the model, we now see the terrain and the building with furniture. I'd like to change the external blinds quickly. Turn off the navigation mode, place the cursor near the smart part, and double click on it. This opens the smart part function in the properties for the selected sun protection smart part. I can now easily adjust the degree of opening of the external blind by using modification handles. To do this, Double left mouse click, holding down the mouse button on the second click. I can now see the handle as a blue point. Release the mouse button, move to the point until the context window indicates the opening degree point, and click on it. I can now change the height of the external blind by moving the mouse. Choose a position and left-click to confirm. Press Escape to complete the command. The external blind is now changed. Switch back to Navigation Mode. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus D. To create views and sections, open the building structure and go to the right-hand side. Among other things, I have created a structural level called Views Structural Level for Practice. Right-click on this file. Select Insert Structural Level and select the View Level. Rename this level to South View. Place Drawing File 1015 in this view. In principle, you can assign any drawing file number when working in Allplan. In this case, I have selected this number based on the views I have already created. To set up the south view, right-click on Drawing File 1015 and select the top entry, Generate View. In this command, we now specify from top to bottom what the view should look like. We must indicate which drawing files are to be used to generate this view. Allplan recognizes the currently active drawing files and pre-selects them in yellow on the left side of the building structure. This is very convenient and I can simply click OK to confirm. It's important that not all layers are turned on when creating the view. In this example, I want to turn off the layer that the 3D people were modeled on. I have created a print set called Views and Sections with this layer turned off. Select this print set. I want the views to change automatically when changes are made to the drawing files, so I leave this checked on and specify here that I want to create a south view. I set the formats and surface elements like this. After confirming with OK, the view is created and a meaningful drawing file name is assigned. The file name can be changed, but in this case, I'll leave it as is. Now I would like to only see my view, so I completely turn off the display of the model data on the left side of the building structure. Set Drawing File 1015 to Active and click Close. In the Window menu, I click on One Viewport to see the recently created view. I don't want to see the label of the view. To turn it off, 
double-click on the border of the view to open the settings. There I click on Set Label, remove the tick from Heading, and click on Apply and Close. Notice the view shows the complete terrain on both sides from the 3D model. We will trim this from the view later in the layout. Let's see how the view changes automatically when the underlying 3D data changes. First, I turn off the display of the right side in the building structure. On the left side, double-click on Drawing File 132 to open it. Double right click on an outside wall to activate the wall command. Now draw a wall segment in front of the building. Press escape to exit this command and double click in the viewport to open the building structure again. Now double click on the view file 1015 to open it. Notice the wall segment is updated automatically. Creating a section cut follows the same rules as for views but with one important difference. For a section that is created in the building structure, you must select a previously created clipping path. I'll show you an example of this using a longitudinal section through the building. In the building structure set Drawing File 13 Clipping Path to Active in red and Drawing File 132 Case to Editable in yellow. On the first drawing, I've already made two cuts, A and B. As an example, I can quickly create a third clipping path by double-clicking on one of the existing ones on the right. Notice in the dialog line the clipping path function has been started. The input of the clipping path is now very easy. In the properties, I change the name to C. Click somewhere in the plan for the first point. Click straight and to the right for the second point. Next, click up and to the right to define a jump in the section cut. Finally, for the last point, click down and to the right for another jump in the section cut. Once the clipping path has been defined, press Escape. Now set the viewing depth with another left click. You can change the format properties of the clipping path during creation or at any time. For now, I'll delete this example clipping path. To create the practice section in the building structure, I open drawing file 1115 as active in the foreground. Load the drawing file favorite, where I have already activated the drawing files needed for the section I want to create. Here, make sure that all yellow marked drawing files that are currently active in the model and drawing file 13, which contains my clipping path, are included. And start the section generation with Generate Section. Select Clipping Path A and leave all other settings the same as was used for the view. Double-click on the section drawing file 1115 to open it and review the section. I don't want any textures or labels displayed in the section. I can remove both with a double-click on the border of the section. Note, the section is displayed in the design optics. I can change this by clicking on Drawing Type. This works because I use the style areas in the architectural components. As mentioned at the beginning, I don't have to create views and sections in the building structure. I can also create views and sections in the drawing file. First, I'll create a section in the drawing file. To do this, load the drawing file favorite Lesson Start 8-2, which contains all drawing files that I want to show in the section. Since I want to place the section directly on a drawing file, I need to assign an empty drawing file to the cafe. 
assign drawing file 134 and give it a name. I start the command generate section. In the properties, enter a name and a clipping path. The section is ready to be modeled and a preview of how it will look is displayed at the cursor. Before placing the section, I can use the preview to change how this section will look. I switch off the display of area elements in the section settings and switch to user-defined layer settings for the layers. Switch off the layers with the staircase components. Now place the section in the drawing. I can move, copy or delete it. The settings can also be changed for this copied section. A view in the drawing file is just as easy to create. Generate a view. Change the settings and place it. Before moving on to creating the layout, I will delete the test derivation.